visual effects in a non-visual effects based film, something that a lot of people don't know about. And we're going to talk about Parasite and how they used visual effects to enhance what was mostly shot on location and on set. <laughs> Welcome back to As Art with Nick and John. We post three videos a week, so hit the subscribe button to stay updated on our movies, reviews, visual fakes, breakdowns, and now we're getting into deep fakes. And if you go to asart.space, we have links to our audio podcast, which we post once a week. All right, John, Parasite, dude. The, like I, I've, I was just like, dude, this is such a good movie. We watched it and we loved it, but I didn't realize how much of the set was actually green screen, like with the house, I think just the bottom part. And they like, mm -hmm. they, they obviously added the second story. The streets were all green screened and like their house. I think they built the set for like the first couple of houses that looked outside their window and the rest was green, green screen too. And then, the, yeah, you know, yeah. they must've did a lot of effects with the rain when they were like walking down and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But man, such a beautiful film and the best visual effects. We always say, John, is when you don't notice it. <laughs> yeah, when you don't notice it. And so th this is great. So I, I love that behind the scenes stuff and making ofs are so common now because we would never know otherwise. It's kind of like we, we were just filming a, a episode recently talking about the Mandalorian and its mm -hmm. virtual production sets. We would not know that they were using Unreal and real time stuff like that unless people put out stuff like this. So we had to watch this video in Korean so we didn't know what they were saying, but we were able to kind of get glimpses of what they were doing and to its credit this was mostly shot sets and location scouting and mm -hmm. real stuff but they just enhanced and so what happens a lot is you will have a, a background or you'll mm -hmm. have a set and then whether it's on location or otherwise and you will just extend out for it to go further because you can't get it to look exactly the way you want and this is what yes. they mostly did they'd change stuff on the house mm -hmm. or they'd they have the street go a certain distance and then they'd have a blue screen so they could go further out and that could be paintings it could be cg it could be different approaches i feel like a lot of the shots they maybe could have gotten away just with a matte painting since it was so far away to begin with and what i mean by matte painting you guys is just like a, a like an artist either, either digitally puts together photos or they paint the actual imagery that's supposed to go back there to extend out what's already existing yeah and it's so cool too because like it could either be 3d like unreal and stuff but like it's so cool to see it in such a subtle way like we saw it in the alton john movie like because you know you have to do the stage and you know obviously dodger stadium mm -hmm. and re recreate it and it's all like 3d and it's just so cool where movies you don't really think there's visual effects where there's heavy visual effects like a lot of shows now nowadays too because mm -hmm. of budgets it's cheaper to yeah. shoot on green screen and make the city like i think there's even shots where people are like running into things and it's a green screen and everything's like 3d and it's like fake but it's like i think i don't know if it's like either it's getting better or our eyes are getting used to seeing it because think about it, like now so much, you know, a lot of the backgrounds are 3D and stuff like that, where we're just getting yeah, so used to yeah. seeing it and stuff. And or it could just be that obviously technology is getting better, too. But and blur and grain. <laughs> blur <and> grain. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on what type of style they're going for as well. I mean, yeah. a lot of those. So certain shots, we, we see the 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 visual effects, we see the blue screen back there. Mm -hmm. But when they actually shot that particular, we're just seeing in a behind the scenes camera. We're not mm -hmm. seeing the final camera. That could have been out of focus when they actually, yeah. they could comp in just like a rough matte painting and just put it out of focus. Or maybe they did do a very extensive extension on there and certain mm -hmm. shots are going to be different. But yeah, so it really depends on what the goal is, but it's cool that they just use it to enhance. They didn't rely on mm -hmm. it. They just used it to enhance what was already there. And again, I'm assuming that Korean films don't have the same budget as big budget popcorn, you know, us yeah. films. So they have to be very creative in doing that. Mm -hmm. But it's cool though. Like when you saw the blue screen in the background, you could tell it was being lit by the actual sun. You know, it was actually naturally lit. Yeah. The upside to that is lower budget. The downside is they have to get that shot while that sun is there. And while the weather is what they need it yes. to be. Maybe, maybe it was being lit by lights and I just didn't see them. But depending on what the situation is, you can be on a time limitation as well. If you don't have all mm -hmm. those lights and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was fun to get to see that. Yeah. It wasn't extensive it, stuff, but it was really helpful. Yeah. And it's also good to see when just whenever visual effects can just aid the story, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like up front and center. It wasn't Robert Downey Jr. And Iron Man or something, you know, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was just a way to just create that world of, you know, cause he really wanted the idea of like the different like city or the different areas that, that they were living in the top of the hill, the bottom of the hill. Mm -hmm. He wanted to just really have the hill shots where they're always walked up not down all you know it's, so it's just like 
and it's just cool that visual effects can just help the story along. Yes. And, yeah. And we did a great breakdown on on the movie Parasite. We did a review and an in depth review too. I'll link them down below where we really go into the story and stuff. But go for it, John. It's I saw one you spoiler, missed. one non spoiler. So yeah. if you guys haven't seen it, you can watch non spoiler one. But yeah. So I mean, and what honestly, just looking at the behind the scenes footage where yes. they were showing the blue screen stuff. Obviously that's not a, a cinema camera. That's usually just someone shooting a camera in the background. So you, they can put that together, but it really made me appreciate the cinematography and the lighting. Mm-hmm. And, but also probably the color grading because oh, yes. the color on those behind the scenes stuff wasn't nearly the same as what they were shooting mm-hmm. with. And again, that's partially due to camera, but it's also after they have it on the camera, what do they make it look like? And, uh, the, the shooting in that film had such a feel to it in the different yes. areas, whether it's a mm-hmm. poor neighborhood, a rich neighborhood. So there's a lot of digital stuff they did to it, whether it was a shot with a blue screen or not, but it, it's, it's, they did as much as they could on set in real locations. And that's just mm-hmm. what I really appreciate the most about it. Yeah. Let us know if there's any other films you would, that we missed that had great visual effects shots or that you want us to cover or break down, or if it's crazy intense, we'll, we'll go down and, and maybe we'll even in the future start to break stuff down ourselves, yeah, like yeah. showing how the models work and stuff. And, and, and honestly, guys, we only were able to find that one video because most of the behind the scenes are probably going to be in Korean until we get a U.S. release on mm-hmm. Blu-ray. I don't know if that's out yeah. yet, but if you are, so we've noticed for the Parasite videos, a huge Korean audience. If you guys are part of the Korean audience, you, you, you speak Korean and you can find us videos that we can watch whether we know what they're saying or not. We'd love to see more visual effects yes. videos for Parasite. So we really appreciate that. And honestly, we'd also love... I love Korean films. I haven't seen a huge amount of them, but I love their storytelling. Mm -hmm. Nick likes them as well. So we've gotten some good Korean film recommendations in the comments. So if you have more, I've already added them to my Netflix queue. Yeah. So I'm excited to watch it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So we're excited. So please uh, let us know other films or behind the scenes for that stuff as well. So we'd be excited. Or even cool visual effects movies too that are done in Korean. Because I mean, we would love to see what other people or countries are doing and stuff. It would be so cool just to see. I mean, but, you know, so much is done in Korea already. Like when I worked on Futurama, yes. most of the 2D animators were in Korea. Very talented mm-hmm. artists in Korea. In Korea, It's just very, very talented artists out there. And Yeah, yeah. Super So stoked. any type of content, we'd love to get feedback, whether it's movies, visual effects. The only downside is that sometimes films might not be available in the U.S. That's the only kind of caveat mm-hmm. to that is we have to be able to figure out how we can actually rent the yeah. movies or buy the movies but yeah so thank you guys for listening let us know down in the comments if you want to see more content obviously you can check out our youtube channel but as art.space has links to all of our audio podcasts we have it on itunes and spotify and also future content might be actual merchandise or whatever it might be as art.space will have all that thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting us We're seeing growth and we appreciate the audience feedback. So thank you very much. And we'll see you on the next as art.